I'm William. I'm Elias. I'm Kylie. I'm Percy. I'm Haley. And I'm Evan. And we are Scooby Doo and the Comedy Crew. Guys, we don't have any Scooby snacks left. Why? We're I'm supposed to buy them at Walmart. Walmart. Come on. Live TV is a game that simulates two people watching TV. They might switch through channels, and all of those channels are different improv scenes that they can choose from. They can pimp us out with other things like changing the volume, changing the language, and it's just a really fun game. Just two people watching TV. Political campaign. Mystery, Mystery Explorer. Punch out. BBC. Let's just get this stupid movie report over with. Oh, it's so dumb. I really have four things to record. I'm just gonna turn it on. Go. And if you see to your right, you can see that there's a hurricane coming straight by the Queen's Tower instantly. We have no time to evacuate. So pray to the Queen for her for to save you. To the Queen. To the Queen. Godspeed. Godspeed. Yes. Um. So, uh, you can see the tower. Oh, it's being hit. It's being hit. Oh, this is too oh no, I can't, I can't. I'm just gonna switch it. So, if you became the first female president, what would you do as your first executive order? Honestly, I'd make all bars free. Um, we'd have all the alcohol free. We would all be drinking and partying. Um, no one would have to work. Um... People are That's pretty much it. For her. I mean, well, you certainly got my vote. Uh, what would you like to say about Dan Blankenberg? Dan Blankenberg? I mean, honestly, he's just not a fun guy. You know, what? he's just, you know, kind no. of boring, wears a suit all day. Best, nah. I say. Is that a ghost? Oh, you're probably just you know, making it up. Oh. You always do this. It's so annoying. Okay, let's see. We just have to try to find something, you know, that looks spooky. Right. <laughs> um, is there anything coming up behind me? Oh my gosh. Oh, there might be some, like, footprints or something. Hmm. That's what I like it. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we're doing. And stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mr. So Harold? Oh my gosh, it was Mr. Harold. Uh, um. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a science teacher. Oh, this is so. Uh, no. This is obvious. It's just oh, too cheesy. Can we turn to the British Channel? Yes. <laughs> There's the the Queen's Tower is receiving major damage, complete destruction. I don't know if it will withstand any more. Okay. Utter shame. Utter shame. The good thing that they got the queen out of the tower as oh. soon as the hurricane quit. The the very queen. good thing she said. Godspeed. God save the queen. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. Now we can move on from that one. Next. So, Dan Blankenberg uh, said that he would not support your campaign. Yep. What could you say to make him support your campaign? Um, all I gotta say is support my campaign. <laughs> You know, with that, I don't think that we should even have a voting. I am declaring you as president. What? Our first female president is yeah. Cindy Blackburn. No. Pause, pause it. We have to call the center. Okay. The senator is speaking. What on earth is going on? Uh, well, have, are you watching the live television? Yes. Well, if you just see, Cindy has just become our first woman president. Aren't you excited? I'm moving. Ugh. Okay. Next. Well. Okay. Okay. Fine. It, yeah. It's it's me. What are you gonna do about it? I don't. Uh, you gonna call the cops on me? What am I? I'm just in a little cloth. Okay. So. I mean, what are you doing in here? Well, I mean, how about we won't tell anyone if you know Vulcan A's. <laughs> We okay. should do that with yeah. our teacher. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, thanks, Just not a word. Okay. No, not, not a word. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the next channel. Well, you see, um, these pack of cards here, signed by uh, uh, David Blaine by himself. So, pretty valuable. I just say it myself. Everyone David knows Blaine, is that everything right? that's a pawn shop is a hoax. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a guy I can call. Uh, he's really good with uh, checking your autographs. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't, I don't have much time, so. Oh, oh well, he's enough. actually he's, he's, he's in the back. Oh, room. yeah, John. John. Yeah, we got a guy here saying he has a pack of cards signed by David Blaine. I just want to make sure everything's all signed. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it up. When it comes to things signed by David Blaine, he signs pretty much everything. So it's not really easy to figure out if his signature is authentic or not, because he'd sign everything. So if he signs everything, Ooh. you're also saying it's not very valuable because a lot of people have it. It's not very valuable. But if you call now, you can get a signed package from David Blaine. It's authentic and it's a signature never done before. This pack of cards is worth about $500 because David Blaine signs everything, but he only signs one pack of cards. Because and it's this one right here. So I would recommend that we all buy this pack of cards. It'll be going up for bidding if no one buys it soon. Tell us the number! Sold to me. So the number is 360-953-9898. Okay, 953-9898. Go. Looks like we got our first caller right now. Hi, welcome. Would Hi. you like to buy our David Blaine cards? Yes, I'd like to buy one David Blaine card. Wait, two David Blaine cards. Two yes. David Blaine cards? Okay, coming right up. Get that happy customer what they want. All right, we'll do. Here's five hundred dollars. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And well, just another good day at our pawn shop. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off now. We have such a good report, and we can trick our teacher into getting an A, just like those people with the ghost there. See.